Hello everyone, my name is Roman and today I'm going to demonstrate you new features in the Spider Pro version 1.7. The first one is the possibility to take into the account gamma angle uh, for bar sections defined here. Let me show you how it works now. Uh, as you may see, uh, the gamma angle is different from zero in the label here and also and also here and now if I will uh, select these columns and press create spiders spiders will be created uh, correctly also it is possible to combine both methods for example uh, we can check here we already have a gamma angle defined in the label and also here for example we will add additional Mm, gamma angle and check how it works now now everything is fine uh, this is a minor improvement for all uh, options uh, which are related to create creation of rigid links but uh, from my point of view personally I would not recommend to use a gamma angle here it should be zero let's start with the next uh, feature as you may see uh, here in Revit, I have a test model with two slabs loaded by, uh, by area load. Uh, this is uh, area load, not hosted one, this one. After trans uh, when we will transfer this model to robot, let me open already prepared file. We will show the loads here and uh, let me describe the issue with this type of load. Uh, we may check here in the load table that all these loads uh, is going with after detection of the object under the load on the, load, on the contour plane. Here we don't have a number of the uh, object. Uh, why it's a little bit annoying for example I have a full model now I would like to select the part of this model as a substructure for example here I would like to save it as a separate file uh, for example slab 1 and check it separately I will check it now I will open it as a slab 1 and now let me switch on the loads L1 and I see this load. Uh, if I will go to the load table after that I would like to delete all empty loads. It's still here. Uh, moreover if I will generate the calculation model a robot will generate a, a cladding according to the contour of this load. So you will uh, find this issue very uncomfortable. So now in Spider it is possible to automatically uh, switch off uh, this option from the load. For example, we have to switch off uh, this checkbox for all loads. It is not possible to do in the load table. You have to select uh, load by load and switch off this uh, this checkbox but now you may find this function on the load and control tab we will input a uh, load case number number two and press switch off we will delete this cladding we will go to the load table now it's correct and we can uh, quickly delete empty loads and our model is looks fine now okay uh, the next feature is uh, the possibility to select panels according to the value of the vertical load applied to panels 
for example, here in model I have a snow load with uh, this value and I would like to select all panels uh, which this load is applied. I have to input here the number of the load case, uh, load value and press select panels. After that I will receive a list of the panels here and also panels will be selected uh, in the robot model. Now I have to open it in the separate window and uh, this option currently is limited to uh, two types of load. It's a uniform planar load and uh, the second type is a uniform planar load on contour is defined one. You may find this option very useful in case of uh, verification of the model. And the last one implementation in this release is the possibilities to create stairs according to selected contour. Uh, so let me demonstrate this feature in details. First of all, uh, we have to create the contour. Uh, it, the contour should have four vertices and the direction of the first uh, edge of the contour will define the direction of the stairs. It's indicated here as a red arrow. So I will select uh, only snap to the end point of the objects and I will create the contour here. One, two, three, four and five. I have a contour. Now uh, I will check the height of my story, three meters. I will put here, three meters here. The landing width, uh, I have five meters here. Okay, it will be two meters here from this side. Uh, landing depths will be, let's say, uh, one and a half meters between the stories. And also gaps. Uh, we may use zero gaps, for example, uh, in some cases, but uh, if we don't want that these uh, stringers will be connected to the walls, we have to put some small gaps, for example, here between this wall and this edge of the stringer, and also some gap uh, between stringers, for example, 0 0.2. Uh, another step we have to assign the thickness to these slabs and also calculation models for example for landing i will select 200 mm and for the stringers oh, maybe it will be not critical like this one and it will be shell all calculation models currently available in this model uh, the next step i have to select my contour uh, let me select it number seven and i will press create stairs now we may see that we have gaps here the flights connected to this edge and stairs looks looks good also uh, local coordinate system is consistent uh, with all these three panels uh, in case if we want to switch uh, the direction of stringers, we have to press this button, flip stringers. I will select again the uh, contour and press create stairs and it will be switched. So thank you for your time. Bye bye.